In this video, we'll do an exam review of Fourier and Athetos. But few important exam questions before we start the topic. Question number one, why is chorea dance-like? Number two, what's the pathology of chorea? Number three, where are the lesions of the chorea and atherosis? And number four, what's an acanthocyte RBC? Now, chorea. Chorea is irregular, involuntary, arrhythmic, hyperkinetic movements. They are Abrupt in onset, brief and unsustained movements. One group of muscle contraction switches to another group of muscle in chorea resulting in jerky or dance-like movement. So the dance-like movement is due to the switching of muscle group contraction. It's more on the distal extremities and muscles of the face and tongue. It's present at rest and increased by stress, tension and activity. There is degeneration of striatum. And what's striatum? Caudate nucleus and putamen. Chorea may be genetic or non-genetic or secondary. Genetic causes of chorea are Huntington disease or Huntington chorea, Wilson's disease, benign hereditary chorea, spinocerebellar ataxia type 2 and McLeod syndrome. Whereas non-genetic or secondary chorea may be due to the mnemonics is A, E, I, the three vowels and M, D. A for autoimmune disorder, S, L, E. E for endocrine causes, hyperthyroidism and electrolyte imbalance. I for infection, Sydenham chorea, AIDS and tuberculosis. So, Huntington chorea is a, has a genetic cause, whereas Sydenham chorea has infectious cause. Now, MDM for hepatic and renal failure, metabolic causes, and D for drugs, anti-convulsant cocaine, CNS stimulant, estrogen, and lithium are the drugs that may cause chorea. SLE is the most common systemic disorder that causes chorea. Polycythemia rubra vera also causes chorea. Now, other types of chorea. Number one, chorea gravidarum that occurs in pregnancy and by estrogen use. Number two, neuroacanthocytosis. It is characterized by chorea and progressive cognitive, behavioral, intellectual and psychiatric symptoms such as anxiety, depression, psychosis and seizures. This is a progressively fatal autosomal recessive disorder with abnormal acanthocyte RBC. Acanthocytes are typical features of chorea and also occur in McLeod syndrome and they also occur in the other disorder. Now what's an acanthocyte RBC? Acanthocyte RBC is a misshape, a spike or a star shape RBC. The condition produces neurodegeneration of the brain, especially of the basal ganglia. Number three, McLeod syndrome, as I like already explained, acanthocyte RBC is an X-linked recessive disorder and that affects only males. McLeod syndrome causes disorders of cognition impairment and psychiatric symptom. Number fourth is paroxysmal chorea. Paroxysmal chorea occur in vascular disorders, hypo and hyperglycemia, infections and degenerative disorders. In paroxysmal chorea, there is a brief episode of chorea followed by sudden involuntary movements. Now, acetosis. Acetosis is involuntary, irregular, arrhythmic, prolonged, coarse, slow, sustained, large amplitude, writhing or twisting worm-like movements as opposed to the dance-like movements of chorea. It affects the fingers, toes and hands and feet may also affect the face but usually it affects the distal joints and the movements have a combination of flexion, extension, abduction, pronation and supination. The lesion in the atetosis is in the lenticular nucleus. Now the difference between the chorea and atetosis. Number one, speed of movement, fast and slow. Fast in chorea and slow in atetosis. Dancing movements in chorea and slow sustained riding movements in Acetosis and location is in the chorea, proximal or distal muscle versus mainly distal muscles in the acetosis. And choreoacetosis has characteristics of both chorea and acetosis. Now answers to the question. Question number one, why is chorea dance-like? One group of muscle contraction switches to another group 
of muscle resulting in jerky or dance like movements question number 2 what's the pathology of chorea the answer is there is degeneration of the striatum and striatum is caudate nucleus and putamen question number 3 where are the lesions of chorea and the retrosis in chorea there is atrophy of the striatum and in atrophy there is diffuse hypomyelination of the corpus striatum and thalamus and question number 4 what's an acanthocyte rbc it's a misshaped speculated or a spike and a star shaped rbc seen in the peripheral blood acanthocytes are also seen in other disorders other than chorea and mclaughlin syndrome